Back to screencasting mode, since I can just fake the desktop. So we've shown that it actually works pretty well on touch-based devices. Um, now this is an integration of the API with the uh, MOOC distribution, uh, which is massively open online course. So now I'll fake a, a swipe to the side, and you'll see we've got some additional options specific to uh, the MOOC distribution. So you have Next and Previous, which come from the uh, Book Touch integration. Uh, but now you have Course Outline, Contact Info, and Course Copyright Info is getting clicked off on the video there. Uh, but, so what this will do is it's going to take the quarter and hide it when we get to the minimum uh, display port um, via media query. Same with uh, the instructor contact block, same with this, same with this. So we're mentioning all the stuff on the interface I wanted to get rid of before. Um, and what it'll do, we'll see in a second, I'm replace it with kind of just this little you know, modal. Right? So this takes the content that's in module outline, it takes the content um, once it's a tiny map, because you really aren't supposed to do this on desktop, obviously, uh, and puts it in here. So we can do contact info, we can do course copyright info, and we can click off and they both go away. Uh, so to see what this looks like when we are truly mobile, so we'll zoom all the way in, and it's a little harder to fake the zone on the desktop. Ah, there we go. Um, and so you'll see we get the course outline, which is a pretty big part of the outline. Uh, it also works with TinyNav in this case, so TinyNav is doing the highest level operation. So yeah, I might want to jump these other parts of the course, but it's really unlikely. Um, but still, you know, a nice clean option to do that. Uh, if you do contact info, you can get course copyright info, and you'll notice it's just gone. So I am just reading it. I don't have my textbook at this point, really, um, or watching you know media. We have a lot of videos and, and images that we have uh, throughout our courses too. So. And so you can get around pretty quickly this way. So um, I'm not able to swipe quite as quickly, but um, considering the, the improvement in real estate, um, it's pretty pretty awesome. I can also just use the on-screen, you know, this is using Chamfer, which has support for the uh, book pagination at the bottom. So if I want to go through really quickly with my thumbs at the bottom, I can still, um, but we are going to always have this additional navigation method. So trying to create as many ways as possible so we can, as I mentioned in previous video, do a best of breeds. Um, you know, many ways of getting to the same solution, uh, more or less. It's never a bad thing in my mind. Um, you can see as we scale up, we still do get the full, the full capability of a desktop-based uh, experience with this. So um, you can also see we've got this little footnotes. Through hickey here, we can slide all the way down. It also scales. Um, and we can jump through it as so. So it's getting there. Um, you can see it's kind of matching up with what these operations we have performed. So I, I have actually been able to do mobile typo recognition on mobile uh, using the typo module. It's going to scroll a little bit, but it's still possible. So we're not going for uh, mobile administration on the site, at least yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll get there at some point. Hopefully making the outline design more tech friendly because it's not at the moment.